Hey guys, DexPromoT here, and I wanted to bring you something that's familiar to the table. Now I know our vids aren't as frequent as they used to be, but we're still in this. We're spending a little bit more time at work and with family, but we fucking love doing videos. So no matter what, there's always gonna be more. And if there's any cons locally, look out for us because we're gonna be there. Whether we're recording or not, we're gonna fucking be there because we're fucking nerds and geeks and just, we love our culture. So anyway, I originally wanted to do top 10s more often, but kind of just got sidetracked. So, um, here I am. We're gonna do another one. So this is my top 10 favorite multiplayer maps of all time, no matter what console, what generation, what genre, whatever. All right, so here we go. Well, yeah, top 10, so number 10. This fucking thing from Mario Kart 64. Never knew the name until now, but yeah, it's called Block Fort. Mario Kart is a brutal, brutal game where your friends will quickly become assholes, and Block 4 provided a perfectly symmetrical challenge to a random and chaotic game. Some assholes would just sit at the top, waiting for the others to get knocked out, and the real crazy shit would happen on the outer lanes. I would just drive around in circles all over the map, launching every single green shot I'd get, which don't fucking disappear here. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. They just keep bouncing and bouncing, so after a few power-ups, the outer lanes would become a death trap that even I couldn't avoid. Number 9 If there's one stage that stands out in the fighter genre, one stage that everyone remembers, it's the pit. I'm not a huge fan of fighting games, but god I love this stage. This stage was the first stage we would learn about fatalities and the first holy shit most of us would get at the arcade machine from how gory and intense this game was, and it was just a start. I love that Mortal Kombat kept this stage in almost every single game, except Mortal Kombat 4. But that was the least of that game's worries. But yeah, there's not very many things more satisfying than this. Scorpion wins. Johnny Cage wins. Well, maybe this. Eight. After hearing the song, do I even need to show you the stage? Well, I'm going to anyway. Warehouse. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater was an amazing game, whether you like skateboarding or not. And this game changed my taste in music for a long time, especially since at the time, my only source of music was the god awful radio. This map was perfect for this game. It was easy to learn, easy to chain moves, and breaking that fucking glass was so satisfying. Mm, yeah, fuck yeah, fucking glass with those graphics. God damn, this shit good. Now, why the stage wasn't remade in other Tony Hawk games? Well, at least not the ones I played. I don't fucking know. But maybe that's where they messed up. No, I'm pretty sure it was here. Seven! Yeah. Fuck yes. Face or Facing Worlds, as it was actually called, from Unreal Tournament. I'm so glad they remade this map in every Unreal Tournament because I love symmetrical maps that involve sniping. Even though I only played the first one, but. Screw it, it's good enough. This game was set up as a permanent LAN at the local university, and during the summer, that was my arcade because arcades weren't around anymore. But this shit got intense, quickly. And hearing this, <laughs> make everybody rage or just cheer cause shit went down. Also, this game was the first multiplayer FPS I got to play and I've been hooked ever since. Number six. Complex from GoldenEye 007. Yeah, it goes and I, you know, back when we had a slick ass mofo as James Bond. Yeah, there are other great Bonds, but this new guy ain't one of them. Multiplayer FPS at home, holy shit, that was awesome. And although most of the maps that I mentioned, if not all of them, I knew Polygon by Polygon. But for some reason, this map has so many fucking vents and rooms, and just shit in general, that I can't remember what the fuck the layout looked like. It was just a map that we would always play. Fucking Daniel Craig. Right in the childhood. Number five, Off Topic Berg. Oh, you you haven't played this map before? What? Uh, shit. Well, the Minecraft world. 
map. That one. It's a multiplayer map. Fuck you. So yeah. Uh, God, I fucking love this game. Even when I stop playing Achievement Hunter, always makes me feel like playing more. And since Minecraft really needs no intro, here's a small tour of Off Topic Berg. Number four, Hyrule Castle. No, 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 not, not the, not, not the map that you get in Ocarina. No, no. Okay, Hyrule Castle in Super Smash Brothers, 64. Smash is easily one of my favorite games of all time, and my fondest memories are in the 64 version. While most of the maps I favor are symmetrical, fuck Final Destination and Battlefield. The first Hyrule Castle was awesome. It was not too small, not too big. There was some stage interaction, but it wasn't like fucking Ice Climbers map. Now there's not a single Legend of Zelda map I don't love, but as for Legend of Zelda maps in Smash Bros, this is probably the only one I really love. The other ones were too plain, or way too fucking huge, or goddamn water level. This one, they got it right. Nintendo, why not remake? Better see this shit in Smash Bros for DS. Number three, over. Dust! Two. Yeah, it's a map that everybody played, and for goddamn reason, this map is asymmetry at its best. Both sides are completely different, but now they have an advantage. Fucking Italy. In my computer science class in high school, all the gamers would finish writing our code super fast. So while the teacher was still explaining Hello World, we were compiling and smeating that damn code so we can play some worms! Well, Counter-Strike 1.5 actually, but, but the teacher called it worms, that, that's the point. This map and Office were the main maps we played. And I had a hard time choosing between either, but in Dust, I don't mind either side. They both seem pretty even. In Office, fuck you, I'm gonna be a terrorist, I don't give a shit. Ah, uh, Counter-Strike. I owe one of the only classes I got straight A's in to the reward of getting to play this game. Two! Azeroth. Loktalgar. Or Azeroth. Well, I mean, that's the whole map, Azeroth, yeah. But more specifically, Orgrimmar. Hell yeah. I spent more game time in WoW than probably any other game, and about half of that was spent in Orgrimmar. Either at the auction house, leveling my professions, or just walking around showing off my mountain gear. Well, actually, usually just checking out other people's mountain gear. So this isn't my character, so I have to thank this guy for the footage, because I didn't want to reactivate my account just to get some footage, because then you wouldn't hear from me, and this video would have never gotten made. Okay, so now we've seen 10 through 2. Wow! So, recap? At number 10, Block Fort from Mario Kart. At number 9, The Pit in Every Mortal Kombat is Minute. Number 8, The Warehouse from Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Number 7, Facing World from Unreal Tournament. Number 6, Complex from Goldeneye. At number 5, Off Top of Berg from Minecraft. At number 4, Hyrule Castle from Super Smash Bros. 64. At number 3, Dust 2 from Counter Strike 1.6. Number 2, Orgrimmar from World of Warcraft. Here we go, and the top multiplayer map of all time for Dex from OT is. Blood Gulch! Halo is my all time favorite series, and most of it is thanks to this map. My first LAN parties consisted of Halo for PC and Capture the Flag on Blood Gulch for fucking hours. Were there even other maps? Who cares? Countless of great times and memories were formed on this map, and not all from gameplay. One of the reasons I ever started learning to edit videos is because of a little series called Red vs. Blue, The Blood Gulch Chronicles. So yeah, way back when I had a clan on Halo 2, 
and we weren't about our scores. We were all about just making videos. We'd make a whole bunch of shit, usually influenced by Jackass or just random shit of us being stupid. And Rooster Teeth became more than just Red vs. Blue. It was a community that's been a great pleasure to be a part of. Red vs. Blue shaped part of my life when I was young, and 10 years later, I'm still watching. And there we have it. That's my top 10 favorite maps of all time. Uh, but let me know what yours are in the comments down below. And please, please, please share the video, subscribe, all that jazz. It really helps and we really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best. We love and appreciate your continuing support. And as always, thanks for watching.